Hello everybody, welcome to LPD-27, USS Portland, home port in San Diego, California. I am Lieutenant Commander John Hartzell from Buffalo, New York, and the Plants and Tactics Officer on board. We would love to have you on board for a tour, but due to the COVID-19 precautionary measures, we're going to have to do a virtual tour today. During the tour, you're going to have the opportunity to meet several members of the crew and learn about the unique capabilities of the LPD-17 class. With that, let's commence the tour. Our ship's motto is first responders, brave and determined. The motto was chosen to highlight the LPD's ability to be the first to respond and provide humanitarian relief in a moment's notice anywhere in the world. The motto was also chosen to pay homage to the firefighters, police, and frontline workers that keep us safe at home while we're out at sea. Before we start, I would like to thank you, all the first responders that have answered when called upon in these difficult times. USS Portland is the 11th amphibious transport dock of the San Antonio class. USS Portland is able to support amphibious assaults, special warfare operations, expeditionary warfare operations, and humanitarian relief missions. We are the third ship to be named after Portland, but the first ship solely to be named after Portland, Oregon. One way we represent Portland is by hanging the street signs from different areas of the city around the ship. The first ship to be named Portland was a heavy cruiser, CA-33, or also known as Sweet Pea. She was commissioned on February 23, 1933. Sweet Pea earned over 16 battle stars during World War II, serving as part of the Carrier Escort Group or pre bombardment Group for amphibious landings. C-833 was decommissioned in 1946. The second USS Portland, LSD-37, was commissioned on October 3, 1970, and was the namesake for both Portland, Oregon and Portland, Maine. LSD-37 completed 24 deployments and helped evacuate over 300 civilians from war-torn Beirut in 1976. She was decommissioned on August 4, 2003. All right, everybody, now that you've got a brief history and overview of USS Portland, we're now going to head over to Lieutenant Junior Grade Hong for an overview of the ship's amphibious capabilities on board. Good morning, I'm Lieutenant Junior Grade Hong from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm the Assistant First Lieutenant on board USS Portland. Our primary mission on board this platform is to transport Marine troops and supplies to and from the shore. To accomplish this mission, we utilize our service connectors or our aircrafts and our amphibious craft, such as our landing craft utilities, landing craft air cushions, and amphibious assault vehicles. For us to take on these crafts, we have to actually fill our ballast tanks with seawater, increasing our ship's draft to the desired depth. And once we get to the desired depth, we're gonna open our stern gate and lower and allow seawater to enter it, creating a false beach. Here in our well deck, we can transport one LCU and up to 14 AAVs. Next stop will be our main vehicle storage area with our combat cargo officer. I'm Chief Officer Pascal from Phillips, Maine, and I'm the combat cargo officer. Aboard the ship, I'm responsible for accounting for all landing force operational reserve material, and while underway, I manage all ship to shore movement of landing force personnel via both amphibious and air transport. Aboard the ship, we have the capacity to house 689 troops with an additional 119 surge bed spaces available. We're currently standing in the upper vehicle storage area. Aboard the ship, we have approximately 38,000 square feet of storage area with the capability of transporting all Marine Corps tactical vehicle assets to include tanks and amphibious assault vehicles. We'll now take you to the flight deck with Lieutenant Hudson. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Derek Hudson, call sign Yeti. Uh, I'm one of two embarked aviators on board Portland. Uh, we run the Air Department here. Uh, behind me is our flight deck where we uh, launch Navy and Marine Corps aircraft to project naval power ashore. Uh, we have the capability to embark uh, four uh, CH-53 Echo Super Stallion uh, helicopters. That's the uh, Marine Corps' heavy lift aircraft. Or four MV-22 Osprey tilt rotors. That's their uh, high-speed, long-range uh, aircraft. Uh, or we can take up to uh, seven skidded aircraft, being the UH-1 Yankee or the AH-1 Zulu uh, Huey and uh, Cobra helicopters being our attack platforms. Uh, in front of me over here, we have our hangar where we store the aircraft as well as uh, maintain them during flight quarters. The door is usually closed. Um, and up top, we have our, uh, our tower where we control the, uh, the flight deck. Um, our whole purpose is to, uh, to maintain the flight deck uh, and the aircraft on board. Your next spot will be through the hangar to medical with Lieutenant Alb.
Hi, I'm Doc Olive from Camden, Mississippi, Senior Medical Officer on board. Today, I will be showing you around the Health Service Department and telling you about some of the medical and dental capabilities we have on board. In addition to myself, you also have a dental officer, an independent duty corpsman, and multiple hospital corpsmen covering various fields of medicine. Right now, we're in the medical triage. In this space is where we receive injured sailors and Marines. Now, we will take a look at some of the other spaces you will find within, within the department. We are now entering the medical ward. This is the home to six ICU beds, and we also have 18 ward beds. The health service department, as you can see, can also serve as an emergency first responders capable of providing tactical combat casualty care. Lastly, we would like to go over and take a look at our dental spaces. We are now in one of two dental operating rooms. The dental officer, along with dental technicians, covers a wide range of dental care, from routine cleanings and exams to root canals and extractions. Thank you guys for coming to check out the Health Services Department. I'm now going to turn you over to Lieutenant J.G. Kong to take a look at Boat Valley. We're currently in Boat Valley. This is where we stow our three rigid inflatable boats, also known as ribs. Each one of our ribs is named after our ship sponsor, Bonnie Amos' three daughters. We have our 11 meter, Jamie, and two 7 meters, Linda and Molly. Using our cranes, we're able to launch and recover these three rigid inflatable boats to perform a variety of missions, including search and rescue, personnel transfer, and visit board search and seizures. Next stop on our tour will be in the mess decks with the Command Master Chief. Hello from the USS Portland, the Navy's newest LPD-27. I'm Command Master Chief Busher, and I'm gonna give you a tour of the mess decks. On board Portland, we are open 24-7, 365 days a year. While embarked Marines will serve over 3,000 meals a day, the mess decks also give our sailors a place to hang out, relax, and watch a movie in between watches. The food service division is comprised of 17 food service attendants and 16 culinary specialists that are dedicated to serving quality meals every single day. I'll now turn it over to Lieutenant Commander Herzl in combat. Welcome to the Combat Information Center. This station is manned 24-7, 365 by sailors who are responsible for the command and control of all tactical operations on board. In here, we have a multitude of sensors to monitor both internal and external communications, as well as offensive and defensive weapons. We have two 30 millimeter gun weapon systems for anti-small craft, as well as two rolling airframe missile launchers for anti-ship cruise missile defense. One of the unique weapon systems on board Portland was the installation of the Laser Weapon System Demonstrator, a high energy laser system that is capable of defeating UAVs as well as small craft. Next up is gonna be Lieutenant Junior Grade Hong with a quick tour of the bridge. Hi, we're currently in the pilot house. While it may look empty now, while underway, we can have eight to 10 sailors standing watch, ensuring the safe navigation of the ship. Right here, we have our SPS-73 radar. It's our primary surface search radar, as well as our navigation radar. We utilize this to maintain the contact picture. Here, underway is where our helmsman stands watch and steers the ship as the Akhani officer gives him orders. This is only one of, three, uh, one of four ways to steer the ship on board here. On this machine here, we use our electronical charts through our voyage management system. Using this system, we're able to plot and navigate the ship without having to use any paper charts. Our final stop will be in the starboard bridge wing with Lieutenant Commander Hartzell and our commanding officer, Captain Sanders. I'd like to introduce Captain Sanders, commanding officer, USS Portland. This concludes our virtual tour of USS Portland LPD 27. I want to thank you for taking the time to meet the members of the crew and learn about our mission, our capabilities, our history, and our namesake of this great warship. We are grateful for your continuous support as we continue to answer 
the call of our great nation. This is Captain Sanders, Commanding Officer, USS Portland signing off and wishing you fair winds and following seas.